one way to scout is to go out into the field with your sweep net. So we can just use a standard sweep net like this. And the protocol for sweeping is to take a 180 degree arch in front of your body as you're walking through the field. The larger the field, the more sample locations you should take. Uh, so we generally say that in a large field, you should take at least 20 to 50 sweeps at 10 to 20 locations in the field. The more samples you're taking, the better estimate of insect populations in the field you're going to get. So you're gonna get better coverage that way and just have a better overall knowledge of what could be in your field and what could be affecting your, your crop in that year. Once you've taken your sweeps, uh, we always kind of shake everything down to the bottom of the net, wrap it up in our hands, and then you can empty the sample into a bag, which allows you to freeze the sample so that you can look more closely at the insects that are in it without having to have everything fly away from you as you're trying to look at what's there. Now keep in mind that when you take a take sweeps in a field, you're going to get a lot of different insects in those sweeps. Uh, the number of insects that you find in the net could depend on the weather conditions, if it's just rained or if it's colder that day. Uh, so keep in mind that you're going to want to sweep uh, in fairly neutral conditions. Also make sure that you sweep the part of the crop where, you're, where the pest is most likely to be present. So if you're sweeping for cabbage seed pod weevil, you want to sweep the flowering part of the canopy. If you're sweeping for something that might be on the, the leaves of the plant, you're going to want to focus your sweeping efforts a little bit further down into the crop canopy so that you can capture what you're looking for. 